I came across this mod on YouTube and basically what it is is for split cooling cars where cars that have been upgraded to a split cooling system you can force the pump to run all the time and apparently you can do this with the ECU tune wise tech and OE tuning said that however I don't know if it's stock like I don't know if you have to ask for it so if you do get a tune or you have an extra tune file left you know sure go ask for it I actually probably do have a tune file left I was thinking about just wiring this though to be honest um, and so what I was going to do is something like this uh, I think we don't even need to solder this. I think we're just going to crimp this. Um, and I'm going to need a telephone connector. I'm really not a huge fan of these, but I think it'll be okay because this is just going to ground. And the idea is it's a ground circuit. Um, and I'll put the link in the menu, in the you know description below. But I've been reading about this and I, I was thinking, you know, this isn't worth it, whatever. And then I read one person whose post made it so simple, I was like, I can't not try this. So here's where I am. I'll let you know. Okay, so um, here's the relay. And if you hear about someone say split cooling car, this is sort of what it looks like. There's a split cooler for the turbos or the supercharger. Um, this is the relay they're talking about here. And the idea here, of course, you know, don't quote me on this. Um, don't do this only at your own discretion. You tap into this wire here and you put it into that ground there. So I did that peak picker there. It's probably not the best way to do this. I put that there as a 10 millimeter. All right, and I just am ensuring that this is running just by holding this here. And she's running, you can feel her pumping right here, you know, she's under pressure. Okay, I did do the first run with the um, with the pump pack, you know, and I can feel she's still running. She's still feeling like pressurized here. Um, so this held up okay. I'm gonna try to maybe type that better, maybe go down in size. Now that I know it works, um, I might even solder that wire together. Um, I'm not a huge fan of those boxes, but. I just wanted to try it, and to be honest, she did run better. Um, like, she had to remap. With these cars, you can kind of tell when you're actually adding power. You don't have to, like, rely on the bed dyno because um, they don't put it down perfectly right away. They need, like, some time to uh, adjust. Uh, like, with the fuel trims and whatever, the air fuel trims, all that. Um, and in fact, a lot of people will have issues when they're when they're tuned and they like add a little more power or something. So sometimes when you do like down pipe, like like turbo back pipes or like air risers or the dam kit or something, sometimes you actually have to go back to stock for a little bit, let it burn, and then go forward. Or at least that's my um, experience. Uh, that these cars are really controlled by the computer. There's a lot going on in there, you know. And I think the temperature is here, lowering that with the uh, lowered IC pump allows her to do more. I mean, she just feels stronger now. So, yeah, she feels really good.